I wanted to show you how you can fix a keyboard that stops responding or all of a sudden begins having a bunch of issues with five simple steps. Firstly, I want to show you how to log into your computer if the keyboard is not working at all. When you boot up your computer, at the bottom right of the screen, there's going to be an ease of access button. And when you click on that, there's going to be an option for an on-screen keyboard. If you open that, you just click the password portion of the screen and then type in your password. This video is going to be for people with a keyboard that only works every once in a while but not all of the time. That or they have keys that only work when you click the keyboard extremely hard or last have a key that types three or four letters unintentionally when pressing the key. The most popular video on my channel from four years ago is how to fix a keyboard and the number one question that I was asked was how to log into the computer. So hopefully the on-screen keyboard answers that question. I wish that I had the energy and experience with content creation that I do now because re-watching that old video makes me cringe every single time. I sound like a zombie, the video editing was trash, etc. So remember, if you're a content creator, to make every single video count. Firstly, I quickly want to mention two things that I'm sure that all of you have tried at this point of looking up a YouTube video on how to fix your keyboard, but I still need to mention them in the case that some have not tried this. Try to plug the keyboard in to another USB slot on your computer because that can fix the problem. This is because Windows updates do not always update each and every single individual USB input. If you notice that swapping the USB fixes your problem, then you're going to have to go into your device manager and manually update your USB inputs. Rebooting your computer can also sometimes fix this as well. This method is more for people that put their computer into sleep or hibernate mode and not actually shutting it down because if you're shutting your PC down each night, this most likely is not going to resolve your issue, but it is still worth a shot. The third thing is to try cleaning your keyboard. If you don't want to go and buy an air duster at Walmart for like $5 or something, then just simply blow the dust away or use a vacuum. If you've had to do this a few times in the past, then you may need to take the keyboard apart and clean underneath it because there's a little plastic portion that you can wipe off and dust builds up there underneath the keys. And over time, all of that dust buildup will end up causing issues when you're typing on your keyboard or just playing video games. This method is more for people that are having issues with the keyboard and not for people that have a keyboard completely malfunctioning. The fourth thing that you can do is just kind of common sense, but if you've spilled soda or something on the keyboard in the past, it does relate to the third method, but you're going to need to take the keyboard apart and clean it. If that does not work, I will have a couple of links in the description below to keyboards that I would recommend buying. I personally stopped buying expensive $100 plus keyboards because they always end up having issues. I currently have a $40 keyboard that I've had for two years and it has not had any issues at all. It just doesn't have some of those fancy features that you get with the more expensive keyboards like being able to install an application and customizing the keys, adjusting the RGB lighting and all that stuff, which leads into the fifth method that you can do. If you have an expensive keyboard with an application on your computer to do all of this fancy stuff, it may be time to reset all of that to factory settings. As cool as it is to have all of those features that they offer, it can cause a bunch of issues with them because it's not the default thing that Windows uses. And then the last thing is basically the exact same thing as the fifth one, except for people that do not have an application on your computer. If you go down to the Windows button on your computer, click settings, go to devices, you'll see a keyboard option. Then you'll end up clicking advanced keyboard settings and you'll be able to adjust the typing speed. And that is for people that are typing on their keyboard that when they hit the S button, it types three S's or they hit the G button and it types five G's in unintentionally. You know what I mean? Like I get that you can hold the key down and it'll type a bunch of them. But if you adjust that setting, that will stop your key from typing 
five letters when you're typing a word. And again, I will have some links to keyboards that I recommend and own myself. There will be two links. One of them is going to be for a gaming keyboard and then a budget friendly cheaper version that I use on a daily basis. Like I said, I've run into tons of issues with gaming keyboards consistently throughout the five or six years that I've been playing PC games. It just goes alongside with using them a lot and it's just a waste of money if I'm to be totally honest because it doesn't mean that they're bad or anything like that but using anything on a consistent basis for such a long period of time is going to require a bunch of maintenance and keeping them clean, stuff like that, but they're always going to run into issues, at least from my experience. So that's why I swap them out when I'm not gaming. I have a cheaper one that I use while I'm just here sitting at my computer, and then I have a more expensive one that I plug into my computer when I'm actually playing games. Because if I'm gonna be spending $100 or more on a keyboard, I just don't feel like having it stop working all of the time and having to buy a new one every single year. Because that may be the case for some of you. Your keyboard may just be broken and it's unfixable and you're gonna have to go and get a new one. You know what I mean? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next video.